This tutorial is for third grade, module five, lesson 23. In this lesson, we're going to use number lines to help us find equivalent fractions. I'm going to start by dividing my top number line into fourths, and I'm going to label each of those units. So I can start by estimating where the halfway point would be in each hole, and from there, I can divide each of those in half. That will give me fourths for each whole number, and it helps me uh, be a little bit more accurate. Now all I have to do is go through and label those fractions, starting with zero. That would be zero fourths. The first section would be one fourth, and I'll continue labeling the rest of the points up until two holes. So here I have all of my fourths labeled. And you can see once we hit the one hole mark, that was four fourths because it takes four to make a hole. Once I passed that mark, my fractions became improper fractions, meaning the numerator is greater than the denominator because I am past one hole. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom number line, only this time I'm going to mark eighths. I'm going to start the same way though. I'm going to divide each hole into halves first and then I'll divide those into fourths and from there I'm going to divide each fourth in two. That gives me eighths and again it helps me keep a little bit more accurate with my estimations here. And I'm going to start by labeling my zero point as zero eighths and then one eighth, two eighths, and I will continue to label the marks all the way down the line to two holes. So here I have all of my eighths labeled, and again at the one hole point, that was eight eighths because it takes eight to make a hole, and once I pass that, my fractions become improper fractions, and at the two hole mark, I have 16 eighths because it takes eight to make a hole, and I have two holes, that would give me 16 eighths. The next step is to list the fractions that name the same place on the number line. And there's quite a few of those, so I'll just point out a couple. Well, of course, if we're starting at the zero point, zero fourths and zero eighths would equal the same thing. So we'll list those as equivalent fractions. I can also jump to my one fourth point and see that it lines up directly with two eighths. So one fourth is equivalent to two eighths. If I jump to the other side of the number line, my six fourths lines up exactly with my twelve eighths. So six fourths is equivalent to twelve eighths. And let's find one more. I see that my five fourths is equivalent to ten eighths. So they both represent the same point on the number line, so they are equivalent fractions. There are more equivalent fractions on the number line, but I just wanted to point out a couple of them to see how they line up on top of each other on that same number line. The next question asks us to find two fractions that would be equal to three halves. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where three halves is on the number line. Well, if I think of my one whole, that would be considered two halves. So from here to here is one half and then from there to the hole is two halves, and then I just need to jump one more half. So right here is three halves, and then you can see that both six-fourths and twelve-eighths are at that point. So six-fourths and twelve-eighths are equivalent to three halves. The last section says to write the fraction that shows where each dot is on the number line, then divide each section of the number lines in two. And then we're to decide what new fraction does the dot represent. So if I look at my first number line, it's showing us from zero to one, so that's one whole. It has been divided into three equal pieces. So my dot would show me one third. So we'll write that down, that's one third. Now I have to divide each section of the number line in two. So I'm going to go to each third and divide it in two. 
Now my whole has been divided into six equal pieces. Each section now is one sixth. So if I jump here, that's one sixth. One more section would be two sixths. One third and two sixths fall at the same point on the number line. So one third is equivalent to two sixths. Let's look at another example. This time my whole has been divided into four equal pieces and the dot is at the end of the second piece. So the dot shows me two fourths. So we'll start with that fraction. And just like before, I'm going to divide each section in half or into two pieces, which means now I have eight pieces that make up the whole. And if I count those pieces, I have one, two, three, four eighths that represent the dot. That means that two fourths and four eighths are equivalent fractions. So you can see how the number line can help us find those equivalent fractions.